Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are back on the fresh beta start. Going to turn around and see if we can go out and pick up our first load and get that delivered. Of course at this point it's just going to be logs to the mill. But we haven't had anything delivered anywhere yet. So we'll just have to see what we can do. Didn't have any brakes on or anything. All right, what do you got? We still building up heat? Is that the thing? Did just turn around and throw logs in it? Yeah, so we're definitely still on cold start here. See if we can get it slid up past this switch, at least, and then uh, flip this switch. So when we come back. We have that done. One less thing to worry about. Take a look at the different color flat cars as they go by. The yellow one's pretty neat. I want yellow with black wheels though. But <clears throat> I do enjoy having the uh, color options so that's pretty cool. Anyway. All right, build up, build up, build up. Come on. Water temperature is still rising. All right, now the boiler pressure is going up, so we're good to go. Hit it. This we're still gonna add a, uh, I believe I'm just gonna have a turnaround there. Uh, that's for later delivering loads. Wow, that's way too sharp. Oh, so that's definitely not going to work. How did that end up like that? Well, whatever. We'll see if it'll work once. Definitely not going to work for bigger locomotives. I knew it was a little sharp when I walked over it yesterday. didn't realize it was that sharp. So I'll definitely go in there and smooth that out a bit. That's way too snappy. We can get away with that with this thing, but we're not going to get away with that when we come to much bigger locomotives, that's for sure. Do have to say the trees are rolling by pretty smooth at this point. The jitter isn't there, so on we go. Uh... Right, how does this go? I don't even know now. New track layout. I'm not exactly sure how it all works. Laid it yesterday. Never drove on it. Oh, that's janky. Oh! Alright, so that's gotta get... That's gotta get fixed. We're finding the jankiness. That's for sure. I did just kind of go obnoxious with the bridges in here. Looks like we'll be adjusting some things. It's uh, similar to our other layout, but definitely not the same. Um, so we'll just have to see. Obviously, we have a couple of kinks we're going to have to straighten out. Not impressed with. That's too sharp a turn. <laughs> that was... Jay, we had every car on here was rocking. And this um, route, really, we need to be able to do it at full speed, so it doesn't really matter. We have less um, track up here, though, than we did last time, so that's kind of the main goal. And uh, we just have some improvements, obviously. we got to get in there. <laughs> but that's a test run for you. This is probably a little too sharp, too. Yeah, so for some reason, you're just kind of snapping those corners too much. And that one, it did okay. Let's see if we get too close to, uh, to the dock or anything else up here. and stop 
That should do that. First trip up. I will get these loaded and then I will be right back with you. Alright, here we are. Just about finished up loading. One last uh, car to go. I don't know. I was going to call him a loco, but <laughs> whatever. One more flat car to go. The banana. I don't know. Need to turn around and start obviously saving up some money looking for a bigger locomotive. Not exactly sure how I'm going to go about uh, the locomotive purchasing this time. I know last time it was basically about picking up a new loco to go with every rolling stock for every um, industry. I don't uh, have that intention this time, so it should be a lot less to spend on um, locomotives. Last time there were a lot of extra loads in there trying to... Uh, Every time I hit a new industry, I bought a new locomotive to go with it and the rolling stock. And I know that that, uh, that was a fair amount of extra loads that were really not needed. So don't think that'll be the plan this time. I'm definitely not going to do like the whole layout and then start running trains. Um, as you can see, obviously, we're already running trains. So we're going to expand, uh, just like last time, just um, not with so many locomotives. So there we go, made that turn. That was kind of the worry, I guess, for this one. Uh, we will have to come in and adjust this, this over a little bit. There we get a little jerky as it goes through the switches. The switches are definitely playing a part on things in the beta. Get the break off. Didn't hit the whistles. Well, oops. Still working on proper train etiquette. Should get better about that on this on this layout. Betsy is a bit loud, but handling the five log car is no problem. Don't anticipate too much of a problem. This is all... I don't think we actually even changed the grade on this track this time. I think we did manage to keep everything actually flat. And uh, just the slope obviously up to the... No, but I think rather than uh, last time I kind of dipped down here and followed with the ground, this time it's just flat. Um, I still don't think the groundwork got up too high or anything. This is definitely going to be a problem. So I'm going to come in here and straighten out this turn. Um, that turn is definitely going to get straightened out. I mean, I guess the train handled it okay. But it didn't at full tilt leaving, so we will be smoothing that corner out a little bit, unfortunately. This, we did get the switch flipped, so no worries there. Means we can just run it in. Should be a nice, easy route. And pretty quick. Uh, do not have a straight through... Uh, run around this time So we do have a comeback loop here. I Just thought that was actually less track to lay so it did just did loops Probably gonna do that at most industries with this layout It'll be the uh, loopy layout, I guess A little bit of elevation change in here not looking to pick up a lot of speed just because I don't know how everything's gonna work Be nice if we could just put a track right into the water and drop them into the water. Huh. Probably don't count if you don't drop them at the dock, though. Again, that might be a little too sharp. We'll have to just see how it goes. Oh, shoot. 
too, we're going too fast probably to be dropping logs. That's okay, they're all free. Alright, well we probably got most of them up there. Couldn't have dropped too many. So there we go. First load delivered. And then on our drop, I guess I will just finish the swing around to the, to the loop. Oh, that should be good. Just to show off the loop track that we did use it is pretty big but I think I don't think I'll have I think it's big enough I guess is what I'm trying to say I think it's big enough that we shouldn't have too many problems with it although this yeesh it's pretty sharp some of the turns I must have been just turning a little too sharp that's part of the if I was using the uh, circle mode I wouldn't have that problem because I could just set the radius and that may be something that I go back to do is uh, reset them with the circle curve so that everything is actually uh, straight in the way we want it but there we go first logs to the mill and you can see the mill starting to do its thing and uh, we'll be filling that up so there we go first load delivered Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.